Hello, welcome to the channel. I'm Sean. I'm Chris. And today we are brought here to check out Killing Voice of Song Sik Yong. Sure. Um, I don't probably I don't butchered know. that all to hell, but to be honest, other than uh, the recommendations that we got on the Big Mama Dingo, and I've never heard of them or anything yeah, like me that. Either. And then I look to look it up, you know, because like when people re to suggest something to us, like and take it seriously, if they take time to suggest something and link it and everything like that, like the least I can do is actually consider it as a recommendation and add it to our list. But other than that, I don't know anything by them, but yeah. it seems popular because other than um, IU and Mamamoo, of, of which we both watched, um, it seems like this is the highest view on the channel, I, I think. I didn't see. When did it come out? Uh, like a month ago, maybe? Well, yeah. A couple months ago, yeah. About a month and a half. Um, but yeah, I don't know anything about him. I don't know if he's like from a group, if he's always been a solo artist, if uh, anything. Yeah, um, me either. And there isn't English... None of the song Close. titles are in English, and generally you at least have one or two that have some English in yeah. it, but none of them are. So, but yeah, whatever. Which, um, yeah, I listen to enough. At, at least yeah. with the dingo things, what's cool about it is if we listen to one that we like and everything, like it's at least segmented, so we could find it in the segment. We and could still listen to that song and enjoy it for what it is, and not be like, oh, I well, heard still, half of it, and be able to like trace it down. You know, yeah. like you gotta do a little like sleuth work, but. If if you listen to enough foreign music, you figure out how to find foreign songs, even yeah. if you don't speak the language. So this is where our years of listening to Japanese music is coming <laughs> yeah. in handy. But um, we also don't listen to... We both favor female vocals for the most part. Generally. Female yeah. singers, um, and t unless it gets to like metal. And then that's usually when the dynamic shifts a little bit. Well, but, and I, I, I just think that maybe there's not enough female metal voices either i think there is a, a over prominence of male to female voices in that yeah. category so. i mean like we we have we probably listen to a lot more female metal vocalists than the average person yeah. but like you said the the ratio is different but even given a choice i think we both usually prefer female vocalists up until that point and then it's like half and half yeah you know yeah, like kind of indifferent the song and everything else like yeah. it more goes into it at that point but yeah. But we've tried adding um, a few like guy groups to the channel. You give them a chance, see if it breaks any of our like preconceptions of it and things like that. Um, some have fell flat. Some have been awesome. Some I add that I wouldn't even have thought that I would like that I listen to on a daily basis. So. Well, and even like it, it, just because we prefer the female voice, even finding covers of the male songs in a female voice yeah. has been nice. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, yeah, I cool enjoyed too. the song coming from a female voice and i don't know if it's just like i said right. us and that's what i like to hear or yeah what but but yeah. i want to see like we both know that dingo doesn't let anybody on there unless they're amazing at yeah. least from what i gather so far everything i've seen on there has been top quality um you know, great artists like yeah, yeah and stuff like that so should be a good introduction can you think of anything before we hop in no ready to check it out yeah well, if you are new here, hit subscribe. We notice and appreciate it. Thank you. Pretty cool if you do. And leave a comment. We'd like to read them and reply. Yeah. Dingo. I guess well, it'd be like this. Go subscribe. Yeah. Okay. 
있어줘서 그게 너라서 가끔 내 어깨에 가만히 기대 주어서 나는 있잖아 정말 빈틈없이 행복해 너를 따라서 시간은 흐르고 멈춰 물끄러미 너를 들여다보 너의 모든 순간 그게 나였으면 좋겠다 생각만 해도 가슴이 차올라 나는 온통 너로 But at first glance, like at first it came out, he definitely has a more serious demeanor than every other that we've seen come on, Dingo. So yeah. at first it was kind of like, doesn't even seem like he cares, you know, but as the song goes, I think it's just because it's a serious song. Cause like when he starts getting into it, like, well, uh, yeah, it was, definitely sometimes it. males, when they go to those high places, it kind of like fizzles out. So, cause they, but he hits the notes. Like it sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. He definitely has a great voice. Oh. I wonder if he's mainly a ballad singer. <laughs> yeah, it might be. 안녕하세요, 성시경입니다. 딩고 라이브를 하는 날이 오다니, 네. 자, 짧게 짧게라도 노래를 많이 오늘 불러 보도록 하겠습니다. 우선 이 노래부터. 어, 너무 way back, 2001. 지금 곁에서 단 생각에 잠겨 걷고 있는 그대. 설레는 마음에 몰래 그대 모습 바라보면서 내 안에 담아요 I'm gonna seems effortless for him 사랑이겠죠 또 다른 말로는 설명할 수 없죠 함께 걷는 이길 다시 추억으로 끝나지 않게 고고를처럼 지켜갈게요 사랑한다는 그말 아껴둘 걸 그랬죠 이젠 어떻게 내 마음 표현해야 하나 해가도 이 마음으로 그대 사랑할게요. <웃음> 아이고야 이게 데뷔곡입니다. 스물두 살때 부른 건데 2000년도에 지금 제 나이는. Yeah, you, I like I like it when because we obviously don't speak Korean more than like three words. Um, but I like it when they can portray the feeling and the language barrier doesn't matter. You yeah. Know? Cause like so yeah. far, the only lyric that I've even like remotely understood, I think it's Sagane, um, which is like, I love you. I believe Fair could enough. be way wrong on that, but that's the only like, but you can feel the heartfelt. You don't even really need to understand the lyrics. And I think a great singer can do that regardless. Yeah, make so. you feel that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Chicum <laughs> Mm, 
그 중에서 가장 많은 사랑을 받은 발라드 곡은 바로 이 노래입니다. 넌 감동이었어. Must be sick or something. Yeah, he's like coughing. 미련하게 아무도 모를 것 같아 태연한 척 지내왔어. 네가 떠나버린 뒤 달았대. 어설픈 나의 눈빛은 행복했던 지난 날에 나와 너무 달라서 이별했음을 느낄 수밖에 너와 나 정말 그때는 좋았었나 봐난 화낼 줄도 몰라 내내 즐거웠대 그래 그랬었지 널 사랑하기엔 세상은 나에게 getting a little more upbeat it sounds yeah, like yeah um, kind of kicked in there but. but if he is having like a sore throat or something it's not really showing in the vocals no because so. he's killing it yeah. yeah but one thing i did like about that last song it's like i don't know how to describe it. it's kind of like a suspenseful piano playing it's like dun, 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 you know yeah. but it has like that hard break and then the stop let it rest like a couple beats and then like build back up to that it's kind of like the power moment. Dun, 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 dun. It's like, all right, that's cool. Fair enough. Yeah. <웃음> 깜짝이야. 자, 이 노래는 제첫 지상파 순익 프로 1위 곡입니다. 무슨 노래인지 아시겠나요? <웃음> 다 같이. 정말 서두르진 않을 거예요. 한 걸음 한 걸음씩. 많은 분들이 이 노래를 항상 제일 듣고 싶어 하세요. 불러보겠습니다. 그대 떠나가는 그 순간도 나를 걱정했었나요 무엇도 해줄 수 없는 내맘 앞에서 그대 나를 떠나간다 난 그댈 보낸 적 없죠 여전히 그댄 나를 살게 하는 이유일 테니 국화꽃 향기라는 영화 OST였던 His transitions are a little different He's doing a, like, I think more talking between the transitions yeah. But it might just, I mean, some of them did that more and then kind of just went on a series of songs and then talked, you know, so I don't know. We still got a lot of time left, so it might just yeah, be I mean, we're not even halfway introducing, through, but... but it did seem like 
he does seem more ballad oriented at oh, least because sure. even the upbeat songs so far have been closer to like i'm not i'm not a playful singer yeah. kind of thing you know like i am serious even when i'm having a fun song right so yeah. it's cool to see a different take on playfulness right <laughs> 북카코 향기라는 영화 OST였던 히제라는 곡입니다. 이 노래는 MR이 없어요. 기획사, 옛날 기획사 갖고 있어서 콘서트 때만 부를 수 있어서 아마 많은 분들이 좋아하시는 것 같습니다. 자, 20대 중반에는 리메이크 앨범도 발매를 했었는데 그 중에 한 곡을 짧게 조금 다르게 부르고 넘어가겠습니다. The remake album. 떠나요. 둘이서 모든 것 훌훌 버리고 제주도 푸른 밤그별 아래 차마가 있던 삼집을 내고 사집 네, 사집 안에서 가장 사랑받은 노래는 이 다음 노래가 아닐까요? 지친 하루가 가고 달빛 아래 두 사람 하나의 그림자 눈 감으면 잡힐 듯 아련한 행복이 하지 저기 있는데 상처 입은 마음은 너의 꿈마저 그늘을 드리워도 기억해줘 아프도록 살아 사람이 곁에 있다는 걸 때로는 이 길이 멀게만 보여도 서글픈 마음에 눈물이 흘러도 모든 일이 추억이 될 때까지 우리 두 축가로 진짜 많이 불렀었죠 이 노래 네. 정작 지 결혼은 못하고 남의 결혼식 축가를 하고 있습니다 자 오집 얘기를 하, 하기 전에 이 노래를 빼먹었어요 하기 싫지만 이 시대 최고의 댄스곡은 뭐다 break my heart completely different than everything so far yeah like, literally uh style um tempo language yeah. um everything but he seems to enunciate english very well you know usually as a english speaking person you can tell when somebody loses yeah. like the last uh, well you can tell when somebody is just singing in english or if they can speak english and then yeah. sing yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'm glad that it is changed because it, it's almost my opinion up until right now was he's really great at one style. This is all he does. He, he, he's yeah. locked into that, and nails it every single time. But that's his bread and butter, you know. So I'm glad to see a little bit of difference because it's also, at, especially at first glance, when all the songs are the same style, it's almost hard to differentiate and tell them apart. Even, yeah. You know. <laughs> 이 시대 최고의 댄스곡은 뭐다? Tell me that you love me again I stand that you never mind You really break my heart 자식 내고 화를 내도 나의 미소만 보면 바보 같은 나이 시대 최고의 댄스곡 
그러면 넘어가도록 하겠습니다. 자, 그리고 이제 오집 얘기를 하겠습니다. 대박 났죠. 너무 한물 간 옛날 가수 같아. 계속 계속 앨범이 있어. <웃음> 거리 해설을 함께 부르겠습니다. 여러분들도 보시면서 살짝 아시면 불러주세요. 네가 없는 거리에는 내가 할 일이 없어서 마냥 걷다 걷다 보면 추억을 가끔 마주치지 떠오르는 너의 모습 내 살아나는 그리움 한 번에 참 잊기 힘든 사람이란 걸또한번 느껴지는 하루 어디쯤에 머무는지 또 어떻게 살아가는지 걷다 보면 누가 말해줄 것 같아 이 거리가 익숙했던 우리 발걸음이 날아냈던 그리운 날들 오늘 밤 나를 찾아온다 자 다같이 널 그리는 People the I studio wonder, singing with him. Yeah, well, I was, I was very asked. I was like, I wonder if that's actually somebody in the studio or if they did that in post and added it. Oh, yeah. You know, because Maybe. like, there's, we've seen a couple times where they did like the like fan, like, I'm going to wait for the fan to sing, um, mainly like the IU one yeah. where she's singing and then like stop to hear the fans and stuff. I think it's a cool, it's endearing. Yeah. <laughs> 반가워 날 부르는 목소리에 돌아보면 텅빈 거리 어느새 수많은 네 모습만 가득해 감사합니다 자 이게 윤종신 씨 곡이죠 거리에서 그래서 아주 큰 성공을 하고 한 곡을 더 작업을 하기로 약속을 합니다. 종신이 형도 큰 돈을 벌었거든요. 이제 새로운 곡이 가사가 없는 상태에서 종신이 형이 가이드를 불러서 보내줬는데 아직도 정확하게 기억납니다. <웃음> Episode he just playing around because <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know, but it sounded like I I wonder if he had like a hiatus, like how Big Mama did for like a long period of time. Because if he goes back to all the way to 2001, I wonder if he's made music the entire time. Yeah. So yeah, I'm not we sure. got a few more We're songs. At eight, and yeah, it looks like what, four or five more songs? Yeah. So we got five songs to cover 13 years. Yeah. So 
We'll see. I mean, because I assume. Or is this just like going back on what he did? And is he not making music anymore? Yeah. I, don't know. I, I assume that he's there. He's about to have a comeback. And that's why he's here now. I think Dingo is a good, like, hey, I'm back. Let me tell everybody I'm back kind of platform. Fair enough. 그리고 이제 군대를 갑니다. 입대 전 마지막 앨범 여기 내 마음 속에. 안녕 나의 사랑. 나턱 끝까지 숨이 차올라 내 머리 위로 바람이 불어온다. 온 힘을 다해 나는 달려간다. 이게 마지막 선물이 될지도. 눈물이 흘러 아니 내 얼굴 가득히 흐르는 땀방울 날 그랬듯이 아무렇지 않게 웃으며 안녕 나의 사랑 그대 미안해 전 미안하, 미안해 라고 얘기하면서 이제 입대를 합니다 입대 네. 34년 성시경 이렇게 하죠 이제 <웃음> 겨울에 늠름한 아들로 태어나 <웃음> 멜로디는 진짜 이뻐요 조국을 지키는 보람찬 길에서 가사만 바꾸면 발라드 곡이 될수 있을 것 같은데 자 그리고 칠집을 냅니다 그 안에서 태양계라는 곡을 불러보겠습니다. Eleven, skip a couple years. 나의 사랑이 멀어지네. 나의 어제 10년 만에 8집 앨범을 냈습니다. 너무 게을러 빠졌었어서 죄송합니다. 오늘 이 노래를 마지막으로 인사드려야 될것 같아요. 너는 나의 봄이다 불러드리겠습니다. I'm assuming different. Yeah, yeah, all I see is OST. That's the same. Yeah, but OST is just original soundtrack. soundtrack yeah. yeah, but yeah, he definitely. <laughs> I, if I had to guess, he's probably most known for singing on shows or movies. You know, um, based on a the titles and b the style. Like Korean dramas is a very big thing, not only in Korea but all over the world. Yeah. So the demand for a great singer to fill those roles is a lot higher, you know, because like here, if we get a TV show, like it's very rare that we'll have somebody that's a great singer be a part of it. With the soundtrack and everything right. else. Yeah. And so I think it's cool that they 
prioritize that, that like we're not going to have a mediocre person sing these songs. You're going to be great or you're not going to be on the show. Yeah, so. kind of thing, yeah. It seems like the that little bit of that. It seems like they're he's doing like a upbeat ballad. Yeah, you know, like well, still it's just evolving a with the time. It's not always just going to sound the same right. kind of thing. Yeah, but it does seem like there's an era that sad music seemed to take it over. Mm-hmm. You know, um, yeah, I think he killed it on pretty much all the songs. I think that. Great voice. Like, that that's more ballads that I've listened to in a row than I can than the last time. Of. Yeah, because <laughs> I mean, like normally, like we said it before, but like I kind of had an idea, a guess that it was gonna be ballady, you know. So I look for and appreciate different things. Right. But if I was going into it expecting something else, it would be like, oh man, they're all ballads, but. Um, I do, I I like it, my music, I maybe it's just because of the place that I'm in, like in my life, mentally and stuff like that. I would rather upbeat songs with an occasional ballad thrown in, not ballad songs with an occasional upbeat song. Yeah, in. I agree. You know, like the, a flopped ratio kind yeah. of thing. But I think talent is undeniable um for sure he yeah. even seemed like under the weather you know happened like clear his throat and stuff between uh most of the songs and everything so he obviously isn't a hundred percent and to be able to do that good that's kind of standard yeah yeah you know so i would hate to see or i'd, I'd love to see what <laughs> he go. brings at a hundred percent you know i, I meant it as like if I was like a competitor against them, I'd hate to see what they bring at a hundred percent game. Right, right, but, um, but yeah, it's super cool. Um, it's nice to check out a different artist. Um, like I said, we don't have very many like solo guy singers. Um, we've only had a few on the channel. So just to even 
A, add it to our lives, B, get some diversity in the channel, and just to keep up with the times. Because, like, we're both pretty new to K-pop and Korean music in general. Um, so while I like the modern stuff, I do like the idea of slowly going back and seeing where the how predecessors, yeah, yeah, how it got here, yeah. who who got... Who started the train to get the artists where they are now and things like that? Um, pay homage to people that might not be the number one star on Mnet right now, but if it wasn't for them, nobody would be. Yeah. You know, like I like going back and because even though this isn't something that I'd listen to every day, I think it needs to be noticed and appreciated because if it wasn't for things like this we wouldn't have other singers right. and other groups and music just wouldn't be where it is right now for the same reason that like i like current metal but i don't listen to metallica i appreciate what they did but uh, I, I like what it is now right yeah. you know so i i like the direction that he's going and yeah because that last little part sounded like a little yeah. bop and like, yeah I, I would like to hear a whole upbeat song by him you know like i wonder what his most upbeat hit is you know because like obviously he has a long career so i doubt his career is only 13 singles long right you know what i mean so i wonder what his most upbeat single is and i'd like to check that out i want to see his fun side yeah and, yeah because you definitely felt the serious side through right. this just because the amount of ballads that he did yeah because you can feel that and from this you can get the heartfelt the inspirational the sad the a touch of playfulness in a couple songs but i want to see how far it goes on that side too so. yeah for sure but super awesome can you think of anything else before we get out of here no glad we checked it out yeah it was cool well thanks for watching with us see you next time